after our cross-country road trip, we decided it was time to check out Wisconsin, check out the nature, and check out all the cool places that are here, including this awesome bookstore I'm going to take you to later on in the video. But first, COVID test, just to make sure we didn't pick anything up on the trip. You're gonna get COVID test. Yeah, so I'm around for five seconds in each nostril and then break the tip off in the thing. No, thank you. All right. Thank you, you too. Our first stop of the day was to visit our Wisconsin family, T and Michael, at the Viroqua Food Co-op. The co-op is owned by the community here in Viroqua. The food is mostly made by local producers. They have just about everything you could need. It even have gender inclusive restrooms, which if you remember in my last video is extremely important to me. T was also doing some shopping and showing us around, but Caden and I actually came to grab a quick cup of coffee. We'll definitely be coming back to the co-op, but now I want to take you to one of the most extensive, wildest, unusual bookstores I've ever been to in my life. Housed in the Viroqua Leaf and Tobacco Warehouse built in 1906, Driftless Books and Music is as unique on the outside as it is on the inside. After parking on the side of the building, we noticed this bizarre art installation called the Art Garden of Robert Horwich. Dr. Robert Horwich was a biologist in Wisconsin who passed away in 2017. The last several years of his life, he created these sculptures with found objects and mounted them on his house. When he passed and his property was being sold, community volunteers helped preserve the sculptures and Driftless Books and Music became the new home of his artworks. If you follow the stairs to the entrance, you'll immediately get a feel for the place. The walls are lined with arts, the floors lined with records, and the roof lined with the owner's beer can collection. That's a lot of beer cans. The hallway leads to a room full of books, and that's not even the biggest room full of books. In fact, you're going to go through several rooms full of books, and they get bigger and bigger as you go deeper into the store. It's almost overwhelming. Most of the bookshelves are on wheels so that they can be pushed to the back of the room, turning this huge factory space into a performance hall where local bands can perform. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, 
performances have been suspended until further notice. The area you're seeing here is the stage. And as much as I would love to roam these halls all day looking at books, there's one type of book in particular I like to look for, and that's magic books. Being a magician, I love to collect magic books, and I had to ask the lady at the front where they were located. She pointed me in the right direction, and I picked up this awesome book, Skarn's Tricks, and it's just full of card tricks and magic tricks by John Skarn. And there's so many different categories and sections to search through. Caden even found some books on bugs. On the walls were a mix of old rock posters, old film posters, local artists, children's doodles, sheet musics, foreign money, and various curiosities that the owner had collected. On the floor were old typewriters, cigar boxes, children's toys, antiques, and sculptures. There's so many things to look at. At the register, you could purchase music from local bands, art from local artists, even postcards. I don't know, to send back home or to your family, whatever you do with postcards these days. Also, in the front of the store is this awesome record room. They have all sorts of album art, old vinyls. You'll find it all in this room. Definitely skim through here and see what you can find. You might find some buried treasure. I had a blast hanging out with T, Michael, and Caden and Viroqua today, and if you would like to visit these places, I put the links in the description. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe because next week Caden and I are doing some more exploring. I'm Willow, thanks for watching.